Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new progress report on Railroad. Do you know the drill by now? I am just sharing all of the progress that we made a while back and I'm only uploading it now. Without further ado, let's begin with the progress report. It's been like 5 months since the last one, yeah. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so from the previous progress report, we ended up here on Compassville where we are talking about the new Faro Callan line that we built. And this entire mess of tracks is the Faro Callan line. So let's continue from Compass Vin. So we'll see this is where all the track merges once again after splitting up. And I like to mention that the stations on the central line, those were affected like these. They were closed so that we could build the new Farrakhanal line there. So for stations like Manhattan, it was closed and then rebuilt. And you can see the old staircases here and here. And then we have Wilston. Wilson looks pretty much the same. The new Farrakhanal line tracks just go above the station. And then we go into Yonsfer. This station was also rebuilt to put the Farrakhanal line tracks here. So this became an island platform. I don't have an old picture, but it is rebuilt. We have Bishenya. Bishenya is also rebuilt to become an island platform because of the Farrakhanal line over here. Swalton was not rebuilt, however, because our tracks just swerved around it so Salton is fine and then we will be moving on to the main station itself Mejmeri so here we come out and you can see here this is the central line platforms at Mejmeri over here this is the new part of Mejmeri as you can see it's way bigger this here is the new part of Mejmeri with four new platforms for the Ferro Cannon line as well as an extended uh, bridge over here Alright, so if you come down here and we have a look, we see platforms 5 and 6, the Ferro Canal Line platforms, similarly with 7 and 8. So these two, platforms 5 and 6, they are going towards Ferroston, and platforms 7 and 8 are going towards the airport line direction. Now you can see that these two platforms are in a staggered arrangement because, well, we do not have space to line them up perfectly with the central line, so. And it's fine, it's just a minor inconvenience. So if you go down to the exit, you can see we have a staircase up here and another staircase up here. And then we have the connection over here to the central line. It's just a little it's just a short walk. But you can see over here this is Cannon line platforms five to eight. Alright, and apart from these two platforms we have overground, there is also platform ten and platform nine underground platform so if we head on down here you can see obviously it doesn't look the best okay it's underground so excuse me for the poor construction but uh, because there is no space the space is very limited up here so once again about some details of the platform this is going towards Ferroston direction and this platform 10 is going towards airport line direction so this is FL4 Mesh Mary Station and our Ferro Cannon Line continues to be built all the way up to New Astonishing. So you can see over here, this is where the uh, tracks that go to the underground come out and we merge nicely onto the Ferro Cannon Line. This station here, this is Quinster. Quinster was also rebuilt because of the new uh, Ferro Cannon Line, so the platform is moved upwards as you can see over here. And we arrive at New Astonishing. So here the tracks split up one more time to go into the respective stations and you can see that New Astonishing has whew, the New Astonishing just got a huge upgrade here. Let's go through some of the platforms really quickly. Platforms 3 and 4 are towards Ferrolston. Platform 5 is a Ferro Color line towards Ferro Color as Ferrolston as well. Platform 6, 7, 8, 9 are for the airport line. And platform 10 is the Ferro Cannon line towards the Polyaton line side. Okay, so this is just the huge overhaul for New Star. I still can't believe it, but this station is really huge. So we've got a whole concourse area down here. We also have connections between both sides of the station. So here we have one side. We have three exits. And we also have three exits on the other side here. One, two, three. So that's as far as the Ferro Cannon Line gets from here. We will be extending it further towards Wild's Pedal in a future progress report. But for now, let's turn it over to the... The, the Romford line. line! Right, we're back in the Romford Line. This is Roseville where we left off from the 
previous if i'm not wrong progress report rl7 rosevale there it is rl7 rosevale and this is all that is built so far but anyways we have had progress on the ronford line so let's keep on extending the Ronford line and let's check out what new stations are built on the Ronford line. It's moving east of Roseville, we have Crymoral, RL8, a very nice uh, cross beam design series station over here. Furnham Bank, RL9, as you can see, this is the river bank over here. Okay, I don't really know if this is the river bank, but like, that's just what it's called. So let's continue on across the river. It's really huge, by the way. Look at this. Onto RL10 Furnham Isle. This is a nice little uh, staggered platform arrangement because it looks cool. So RL11 Well Beckon. This is a mailbox design series. In fact, we have RL12 Coastern. All right, and then we'll be cross another huge river. This is RL13 Rutterglass. Rutterglass is actually a really cool name. I kind of like it. And we have RL14 Vincetier. So everything from RL5, which is, if I'm not wrong, uh, the Dutchery, all the way up to RL14 Vincetier. This is all opened as part of the Romford Line Phase 2. Ooh, bamboo wood. What is this special occasion? Why are we using bamboo wood here? Well, this is actually because after I built Vincetier, the Minecraft 1.20 update just came out, which uh, obviously contains the bamboo block so that's why i've used the bamboo block here to celebrate the minecraft 1.20 update i know from now it's like a really long time ago but when i was building this the 1.20 update just came out another secret i guess is that all of these station names here it is based on a new item or a new mob or a new block that came out in a 120 update so let's see if we can spot them First one out of the uh, 1.20 series, we have Sniffyron, RL15. RL16 Bamberwone, which is this nice and huge island platform over here. We have RL17 Blushery. This is a nice mailbox design series island platform. We keep going, we cross. Okay, not really cross, but we are scaling the side of the coast. We have RL18 Sharapot Coast because this is literally the coast. <coughs> you can see the beach over there. And we keep going and we cross here yeah, another river. I don't know if this is a river or an ocean, but it's pretty vast over here. Onto this tiny little island, we have RL19 Raftstock Island. It's it's really tiny, like it's literally an island. And then we cross yet another river. Oh my gosh, this line is crossing a lot of rivers. Anyways, we end up here at RL20 Pichetons Island. Uh, it's also an island, but this one is way bigger than that one over there. We cross yet another river. On to the next station, RL21 Torchflower. Now, this is pretty obvious what this is for because, well, Bruh. it literally has torch flowers here. So this station is obviously uh, inspired by Torchflower itself. So the next station, RL22 Hangar Sign Cave because, whoa, this cave is big. Yeah, this cave is really huge, guys. Last but not least, we have RL23 Triamor. There was 15 new stations on the Ronford line, you guys. That was pretty insane. I guess I was riding the high for the new Minecraft 120 update. But anyways, though, this is where the progress stops for now for this progress report. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for the next one whenever that may come out. Alright, see ya.